previously on Final Fantasy Type-0 HD, I was told about Moogles and got angry, and then I forgot about Moogles, and now I've just reminded myself again, and I'm angry again. This music, uh, it feels like some, some shit's gonna happen. God, I hate that fucking siren. What, what the <laughs> fuck just happened in my ears? <laughs> This is what I that that's what I have to hear every single time that I play this shit. Wow. Oh yeah, I hear it. Anyway, let's talk about the uh, the next kind of gameplay. So this is uh the other bit of it. There's always an other bit. Ready for this. Anyway, after well, first we're gonna go get some more new equipment and shit, but. Uh, but yeah, so there's one more kind of gameplay, and it's almost like... Like, you'll see when we get there, but it's almost like... MOBA-ish? Oh no. Almost MOBA-ish. There's... there's a lot of really weird and conflicting gameplay things going on in this game. I can fully believe that. I'm still mad that you have to, like, manage your weapons individually for each of your... 12, like, dudes. Yeah. Like, there... Like, there are too many characters in this game. Do they ever, like... Do they ever, like, get seriously individualized and fleshed out, or does it never evolve beyond, like, he's the green one and she's the blue one? My money's on no. It really doesn't. But hey, so here we go. This is, um, yeah, you'll, you'll see very quickly. Anyway, we're, anyway uh, our main people today we're going to roll with are Seven, Trey, and Queen. Alright. Um, I think as I said, we'll just kind of pile everybody else in there. I remember you said something about there's no reason not to just put everyone in there, right? Yeah. Yeah, because if your people die, you just start pulling from your reserves, so there's no reason not to have everybody there. That seems like a well-thought-out game mechanic. It's like, why even give you the option to not bring them, then? Okay, oh, out. shit. What? So, the way this works is that there is sort of like a passive flow of troops between your... the cities that you control and where the enemy troops are. And... But you can, and then you can do weird shit, like, you can go over and, like, you can attack their troops on the ground to help advance yours, and then, like, once you capture a city, it becomes yours, and it starts putting out troops, and, it, yeah, it's really, it's really weird and out of place. Why is this in the game? This just looks, I don't know how to react to this, it's like, what, a little tower defense thing? Sort of? This, this is just, like, I, I, I can't really vocalize the, the something awful effort emotes that we have, but you're all thinking it. Yeah, like, this is not, like, super lovingly animated. They're just kind of rolling out. Oh no, tutorials. Well, I mean, this is the point where I had to remind myself, okay, wait, how the fuck do I play this? Like, I, I think that's a question that anybody would be asking themselves at, at this point. Only really in more of a kind of an existential way. Like, how the fuck do you play this, really? Are they just like, do you warp into a battle screen, or do you just... Oh, no, 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 you just, you just fucking stab them right here on the map. <laughs> like, what does it really mean to play this? So they're just like, they're just like moving in unison and each block of dudes is just like just one like creature? That. Yeah. I mean, what really is the element of the game that we are participating in by pressing buttons at this point? We're playing Risk. Enemy attack! All troops to battle stations! Anyway, so yeah, this is kind of the end goal. Once you get your troops up to one of the other towns, you'll start surrounding it and trying to break down the wall. 
And but so and once you do that, they'll stop spawning troops. This is a Final Fantasy game, right? Took them too this is like the shittiest version of Advance Wars yeah, I've ever seen. This is going better than expected. Wait, so the dude in the top right who's like, we failed, that's not your dude. That's a different dude. Yeah, no, that's the, um... That's, yeah, that's that's the dude from the Militesi Empire. Right. One of their uh, random officers. Anyway, yeah, and there's also, like, turrets and shit, so, like, you know, like, while the troops are, like, capturing towns and shit, like, you can go off and just destroy the turrets and... Yeah. I think I think my main problem with this is that it's way too abstract to have any like emotional involvement and like like going from dying bleeding chocobo boy to this it's a bit of you know contextual whiplash some dissonance going on hardcore here Man you remember that weird Ford Condor mini game in Final Fantasy 7 Okay yeah that was a mini game that had some love put into it. I like all I remember about it is I played it once and I fought a dude and he killed me and then they were like, oh, I guess we lost and the bad the, the Shinra bad guys own the place now. Well done, Cloud. Pretty much. I mean, you can play it as many times as you want. There's there's one time where you have to play it and you know stuff goes bad if you loot, but it's. It's still, like, just a thing. I like the little, the little like, cutesy Moogle up in the top left. Yay! Now we can invade the town! Oh yeah, that's extremely advanced wars. They were like, yay, war! Anyway, once you do enough damage to the towns, you can invade them, and then it shifts back to the, uh, the regular... Gameplay. Right, where you go around and steal their souls. Right, now we can bleed and die again. So, uh, Seven is literally lightning. Like, just putting that out there. But with a whip. Yeah, she's got a whip sword. But yeah, like, if you look at her model, she's, she's literally lightning. I ain't got no problem with that. I love lightning. Half literally lightning and half literally Ivy Valentine. Who's she from? Soul Calibur. Oh, right, she's that one with, like, the... She's got two memorable um, aspects to her character, which are the whip sword and the tits. Oh, I was about to say left breast and right breast. Oh, that is a, that is a valid alternate interpretation of the phrase two aspects. I don't know, I, I remember there, there was, like, there was some image going around of her in, like, a purple thing, hold, which I hold, guess hold was the, technically but, 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 clothes. But, 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 hold, hold, hold it. Why is, why is he here? Can we kill him? Can we save everybody a lot of anguish just right here? Just end it. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, see, we can, no, we can't do that, because, as you can see, not only is he one of our support characters, he's also, like, one of the highest level support characters. Of course he is. Oh, fucking course he is. It's like, okay, I can do this. So this, yeah, these are these, these missions. So as you can see, we the mission was to kill two dudes with your leader. So I did, and now I got a whole bunch, and now I got a free buff. Oh, neat. I believe I'll show it later in this video, but yeah, when you fail, it just instantly kills you. Straight up. Oh. Was Tetsuya Nomura always, like, a shadow person? Are, are you talking about the game or real life? Either. I, I couldn't really tell you. All right, move out. Oh, are we still doing this? I, I thought we like won this. No, no, no. no Corsi is the ult is our ultimate goal. We have to take that to finish this mission. Do you get like bonus stuff if you take all the domains first? Yeah. Well, what that does is that new it stops the. Uh, it stops reinforcements from the other areas, so... Yeah, but there's like, but like, once you win, you've won, and it doesn't matter how well you did in the actual mission, or... 
A, sort of. You get ranked, but that doesn't really mean much. Oh, I was joking before, but I guess this really is just a shitty Advance Wars. Not good. The enemy forces have yeah, so like this, so like, while I'm just, you know, kind of blitzing their, their, their headquarters, but you know, like, you can see, like, they're sending out troops to fight our capital now, and, you know. And, and they can take that, and then it's like a never-ending game of, the, like, tug-of-war? Well, if they take ours, then we automatically lose the mission. Oh, alright. So I guess just don't let them do that. Will commence now. I, I love the, the visual of just like slashing a town with, with a sword, with a whip sword, actually. I see that town and I'm like, oh yeah, that this was a PSP game, wasn't it? Sometimes you can tell. And I was gonna go back to protect our base, but then I was like, oh, the barrier fell. Okay, whatever, I'll just go finish the mission. Yeah, let's not have any consideration at all about the damage that our town is taking. Look, they just sent a bunch of giant robots down to our town, what's the worry? It's, listen, it's like, it's like chess, right? Once we take their town, they all just lay down and die. It's like chess. Oh, that was flashy. How, I was about to ask, how advanced is the combo system for 7? It's... really not. You hit the buttons and make the mans fall down, basically. Pretty much. Like, that's... you can improve that by going through her upgrades, but... You know, it's not like... It's not going to win any awards. It ain't a platinum game by any stretch of the imagination. Fair enough. It's not nearly enough parrying for it to be a platinum game. Man, you heard that you heard they're re-releasing Dark Souls speaking of parrying? I've heard things to this effect. Can't fucking wait to walk around an undead burg and get invaded by some asshole with like a dragon tooth. I've also heard that Platinum's working on something completely new, or at least slightly new. So you know we'll have even more cool anecdotes to make during these things. Yeah, dating. Someone's gonna watch this two years from now and be like, "What the fuck are they talking about?" I, I think. People are going to be like, what the fuck are they talking about when they watch this anyway, whether or not we say anything that's particularly tied to a date. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, uh... Seven is fucking dead. Yeah, the challenge was, don't take damage. And, uh, literally as I hit accept, so I got hit by the boss, so... I, I don't see how don't take damage is really a special challenge. I mean, isn't that a thing that you're striving to do anyway? So, uh, yeah, this this is Trey. Trey is, depending on your opinion of King and his reload mechanic, probably the best character in the game. He, he holds his bow backwards when it's not in use. Like, what, what the fuck is with that? Like, what... What's the purpose of this? It's like holding your gun sideways when you shoot. It's cooler. But yeah, Trey does not have to reload, unlike King. And his attacks are... They're not instantaneous, but they're really fast. So... How powerful is he compared to King? He's about he's about the same damage-wise. Little less, maybe. But, yeah, like I said, he's... Depending on your opinion, he's probably either the best or the second best character in the game. Fire until you're out of ammo! Great tactical shouting there. I was about to say, weren't you listening? He doesn't have any ammo, like, counters. He's got infinite arrows. Well, fire until you're out of ammo is, like, logically speaking, still valid advice in that situation. A report card, because we're in school. 
Uh, you gotta be for casualties. You shouldn't have failed that challenge. It's true. I can't believe that I foolishly accepted that challenge. That's the real lesson here. Never try. Exactly. So now that was, so this was like main plot stuff. Yeah, yeah, that was the next main mission. Uh, hmm. So uh, let's uh, let's go check out the spoils of war. And if you had to like sort of guesstimate how much of the main like gameplay content, hold, hold it again. The, is the main map theme just a chocobo theme in a minor key? Oh no. <laughs> It might be. Shit. <laughs> Motherfucker. Oh no. Um, anyway, as I was saying, like, how much of the main, like, gameplay meat of this game is playing shitty Advance Wars? Way more than it needs to be. Anyway, this, this dude uh, just basically tells us about a bunch of side quests. Some of them we can do, some of them are, you know, hilariously out of our level range right now, but it's just good to kind of keep him in mind, because those are some of the things that we can do with our free time once we get back to Academia. Why doesn't this guy just run a bulletin board or something? Well, then he'd be out of a job. So he's like our Popola. Yeah. Cool. That's not a foreboding thing to call somebody at all. So this guy sells souls? Oh, yeah, like you do. It's normal, normal shop. Where did he get those? Don't worry about it. Oh yeah, a sexy swimsuit? Why? What? So what's what's the gameplay use of a sexy swimsuit? Well, it's a gift. You can give it. Can I give one to King? Probably. Will he wear it? No. Zero out of ten. Holy shit, you're right. Why would they do that? Why would they make this game, period? Anyway, the only the only other thing of note is that, um, in addition to Imperial Soldiers, there are just random encounters with monsters. And I see these are Final Fantasy X flans that don't take damage from physical attacks. Yeah, except for the tiny bit where they do, but it's not really enough to be bothered about. Yes, yeah, so you just kill shot him. They're like, hey, are you paying attention to the basic aspects of how your characters work, YN? Yeah, it's like, have you have you remembered our rock, paper, scissors yet? Rock, paper, scissors, Trey Deuce King. It was never entirely sure how happy I was with that side of Final Fantasy X. The, the, the gameplay in that game isn't really challenging. Then again, like, JRPGs always tend to come down to something that basically is just automation when you think about it. Which is why 12 was so good. Yeah, exactly, I was about to say. It, like, it didn't have any pretensions. It's just like, here's, here's, you can tell them to press the buttons that you would press if you had to press the buttons yourself. I mean, all, you, all you're ever doing is like, running programs anyway, and it's like, hey, is it weak to fire? If so, cast fire. If not, attack. Is somebody dead? Revive them. If not, do the other stuff. It's, it's, it's all just programs. I'm pretty sure this argument has been made for Basim several times in, like, 2006. Probably. Breaking new ground here. We sure are. What do you mean something awful stuck in the past? Yeah, no, th this is the high-quality content that people come here for. I know, it's not exactly untimely, 
given that Final Fantasy XII has recently been like re-released in glorious HD with all the international Zodiac job system content fully intact. And you can still exploit the RNG to break the game over your knee. You absolutely can. Petromans 842RG. The deployment of the Agito cadets initiated drastic progress toward the recovery so while this guy is talking some bullshit nonsense let's talk about that territory expansion stuff like when you capture cities does like stuff open up in them apart from dudes selling sexy swimsuits and souls <laughs> yeah no um each city that i mean each city has its own unique inventory and also you know obviously you need I mean, I'm pretty sure you get them back regardless, but, you know, it's part of your mission grade. The Queen of Concordia is a cautious woman. She won't fully commit to a war. I see that's what defines caution these days. It's not just, yeah, fuck, go to war. She's keeping them far from the front lines. You'll receive Current political later. joke. Dismissed. Lol. Sir. I'll be requiring your services shortly. Very well. What kind of fucking admiral just walks around in his office with a Japanese sword on his hip? Is it your intention to use anime admirals? That is not your concern. Status report. Uh, yes, sir. Engine 9 is operating within normal parameters. All we need to do is locate the Also, sir, would you like a lozenge? Should bring it under our control. Good report, Speed really. Search. Do whatever it takes. And yes, I would. Sir. The thing's normal. We're trying to find the guy. This was a worthwhile report. A Faster than I had imagined. I must finish this before the thunder sounds. Imagine having to walk around and, like, speak with that voice, just as your normal speaking voice. Go down to the baker, buy some, some bread in the morning. One large Americano, please. Uh, Lord Shuyu? Uh, but, will that protect us? I mean, will that lead to the safety of the Dominion? I am the sea. Nothing more, nothing less. You're not as much fun as the other Lassi. Lord Shuyo is a Lassi. I, I don't see how that was really an answer to anything. I trust his judgment. Then the Dominion Army will proceed according to plan, if it pleases. You know, it's it's power politics. He's he's flashing his big there giant no Lassi dick around, so everyone is like, oh, okay, I guess we'll just do what you say. Should the worst happen, order. Okay, hands up, everyone in the room who's a living war crime. Anyone? No, 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 just me. Okay, shut the fuck up. Let us trust in the crystal's guidance. I like that he doesn't even he doesn't even actually promise to help them. He's like, look, dude, I'ma do my thing, and like if shit goes south, just go, man. Just go. If you feel like arguing, please feel to consult with one of the other living war crimes wandering around. Oh no, wait, no, there aren't any? Oh well shit then. A man is dead. It was Seven was a lady. One soldier died. Couldn't even be bothered That's to like all. remember her gender. The children did a splendid job retaking the capital. Or is it too hard for you to calculate uh, the children's losses? Even so, there were other more Good old Doctor War Crimes. Doctor Aresha Alresha. Fuck. Why did it have to be him? It's so dumb. Why did it have to be Izana Kunagiri? Because that's the one he wanted. What? I don't know how the two of them met. But Ace made it clear that's who he wanted. I, I like that they're so intent on that's making so sure that everybody understands that she's complete evil, that she, they even gave her, like, a cigarette because holder. One of your brats said he wanted him yeah. to come. I've never actually seen that's one of those right. in real I life. Remind you that the Chancellor has the final say on oh, and she just throws it on the ground, leaving sure some schmuck to clean it up, because she just don't give a shit. So, hey, we have a name for that kid who died in the intro now, at least. I asked for him? Died because of me? Sana. Kunigiri. 
I think I've had that type of sushi before. It was alright. Watch out. The 15th student who's hidden at this academy. Are you okay? You don't look so good. Makina? Makina Kunigiri? Actually, I, yeah, I like to go by machine serious. now. It's a political okay? thing. Don't worry about it. I think he just got tired after our bed kept trying to kill him. So, the whole thing about forgetting people who die, that's not the commander dudes, they don't have that, it's just the soldiers, right? Yup. Yeah, so Machina done no. Man, that is such a- that is still such a good idea for, like, a thing. I'm sad that they wasted it on a game like this.